What is going on, guys? My name is Tubby Emu. Uh, this whole Fandango craze has kind of uh, had me thinking lately. Um, if you guys don't know, Fandango has been massively over, and his theme song is is taking over. It was played at a few uh, European football clubs. Um, the Houston, Texas cheerleaders danced to it. Uh, PETA danced to it in a video. And, uh, you know, and it's just... It's, it's kind of taken over. And, you know, it made me think of, you know, guys that went from a generic, you know, character in the WWE to guys that, you know, have now gone over. And I, I want to bring some of these out because a lot of times people give WWE shit for the characters they create and, you know, not being Attitude Era and, you know, all these problems and, you know, how they bury talent. But if you think of some of the recent gimmicks they've gave to characters and how they're finally starting to get over. Guys that is over or fuck right now is Fandango. People hate Fandango. And, you know, Fandango used to be Johnny Curtis. You know, that was his character. NXT, he, you know, for the longest time last year, I remember him in, like, WWE Inbox or Zack Ryder's videos or... You know, on YouTube only. Like, I don't ever remember him actually wrestling on TV. And they gave him a new gimmick, and it worked tremendously for him. Another guy, Brodus Clay. You know, he didn't know what to do with him. They wanted to have him come out as a monster. He, you know, they gave him the Funkadactic. Funkadactic. I was going to say Funkadactics. The Funkadactyls. And the gimmick has went over surprisingly well. And he even said in interviews, like, you know, you can't be a monster all the time. And, you know, other guys that have had that same gimmick, you know, Skip Sheffield, Ryback. Look how he was in the Nexus. He was just this bad motherfucker. They give him this new gimmick. And it took a while, you know, with the Goldberg chance. And, but he's finally over. You know, there's a bunch of examples like that in the WWE. And guys that, you know, need to have some sort of gimmick besides just what they have now. Guys like JTG, guys like Michael McGillicuddy, who I know he doesn't want to take his father's name, but I still think he should. You know, uh, uh, Kurt Hawkins, all these guys that really don't have a resemblance of a gimmick at all. The Shield, another prime example. What they're doing is absolutely fantastic. You know, look at primetime players. There's really nothing different about them, I, although I, I do like the millions of dollars, millions of dollars. Why are they worth millions of dollars? Are they rich? Can you see? And like, there, There's a problem. WWE has done a few things right with Fondango. Look at Jack Swagger. Pairing him up with Zeb Coulter is done tremendous. He's getting booed out of the fucking building, and people hate him because of the whole racist gimmick and the character, and it's something that WWE is doing right. Now, unfortunately, guys like Kofi Kingston, Wade Barrett even, Antonio Cesaro is a perfect example of a guy that they were starting to push his gimmick, you know, with uh, being able to lift people. And then they just flat out fucking failed. But there are guys in WWE that have been successful. So what I want to ask you guys in this video, what gimmick in the past year have you most fallen in love with? Whether you hate them or whether you love them, what gimmick has provided you with the uh, the most interest in WWE? Is it a guy like Fandango? You know, whether it be because you love him or you hate him. You know, it's better to have a character who gets love or hate, you know, heel or face, than a guy people don't give a shit about. And guys that people don't really give a shit about were like Kurt Hawkins, Tyler Rux, when they would come out, nobody would really care. These are guys that people hate and love. So who is it in WWE? What gimmick right now is uh, working for you? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, guys. We'll see you later. Peace.